Councils and commissions were meeting all across the Tennessee Valley tonight and we have you covered. In Red Bank, commissioners took a final vote on a new budget which included a significant property tax increase. In McMinn County, more controversy after an LGBTQ display was removed from an Athens library at the beginning of the month. And in Chattanooga, Mayor Tim Kelly's new budget, less controversial, was approved. We have team coverage of all three of those meetings tonight. We start in Red Bank, where commissioners passed a budget with the city's highest tax increase. Commissioners say the boost in funding will tackle pay increases for first responders and help city wages keep up with inflation. Local 3's Jemiah Beatty has been following this story since the beginning. She's live in Red Bank with more. Jemiah. Greg, this was the second reading and final vote for the proposed budget. In a three to one vote, the measure passed again without the support of Commissioner Jamie Fairbanks Harvey. This means residents in Red Bank will be paying more in property taxes. Commissioner Pete Phillips. Yes. Commissioner Hayes Wilkinson. Yes. Red Bank commissioners have approved the 57 cent increase in property taxes, changing the current $1.10 tax rate to 167. The increase is part of a $9.7 million budget, which some commissioners say will support the salaries and benefits of first responders. Commissioners attempted to get Fairbanks Harvey on board by decreasing the new tax rate, but she declined the offer. So a dollar sixty is not a rate that you would be comfortable with. No. Some in support say the increase keeps up with Red Bank's rapid growth. This decision is more than the numbers. It is about how we, as citizens of Red Bank, support this city to become better. Those against it say the rise in property taxes burdens residents on fixed incomes. I live on a limited income. I make twenty-two thousand dollars a year. This is going to impact me to the point where I will have to sell my house and move from Red Bank, and I've been here 18 years. Commissioners say each dollar will fund structural improvements to the city's land, stormwater, and transportation systems. Significant adjustments commissioners believe will secure the city's future. This budget is balanced. There's no deficit spending. This is where we are. It's unfortunate that this has to be happening. Commissioner Fairbanks Harvey, who doesn't support the measure, worries how families in need will handle the increase. And I really hope and pray that this works for the general good of our city. Tax relief options do exist for qualified residents, but commissioners say they won't have that available until October of this year. The new budget starts next month. We'll have much more information about this inside our Local 3 News app. Reporting live, Jeremiah Beatty, Local 3 News.